In this lesson, we're going to learn how to hook up our animations to our player input. All right, so let's go ahead and open up our unit editor. And you can see here under the catfoo folder, there's this catfoo.flow editor. So double click on that and that will bring up your unit editor as well. And it will automatically bring up flow. So whenever we press the Xbox thumbstick, we want it to check to see if it's being pressed. Now, whenever the thumbstick is being pressed, it's putting out a value between 0 and 1. And so what I want to do is I want to check to see if that value is greater than, let's say, 0. If it's greater than that, I want it to go into the run state. Okay, So let's use a little bit of logic in this. So let's go over here to the length, and I'm going to right click and I'm going to go to math numeric and I'm going to say greater than so I'm going to plug in my length right here and say if this is greater than and then tell it what to be greater than I'm going to say 0 0.05 if it's greater than that then I want it to do this so I want it to check to see if that's true or if that's false so I'm going to right click and I'm going to use what's called a branch and this is under flow control so if it's true it's going to do one thing if it's false it'll do another so let's go ahead and use branch let's plug in the value of our greater than to the condition of branch and so whatever that value is if it's true it's going to do something if it's false it's going to do something else so then let me go ahead and move this guy out of the way here kinda wanna reorder some things a little bit so if it's true I want it to send that run event so I'm gonna right click and I'm gonna go to animation and then I'm gonna say send animation controller event you'll see that it's looking for the unit that this node is on so then the unit is gonna be our cat foo guy and we're going to run the event and we're looking for run underscore event it must be spelled exactly like this uppercase R uppercase E and then we're gonna say if it's true then do this if it's false we want it to go back to the idle event so I'm gonna hit control C and control V to copy and paste that node and then I'll simply just change it from run to idle then we're going to go from false to the in of that and that should be everything that we need now we need to check to see if this is true or false every single frame so what we'll do is we'll use what's called a level update event so let's right click and let's go to event and here you'll see level update this will check to see if something or it will execute something every single frame that the game is running so there we go we've got our level update and that's all set so now if I go ahead and hit control s to save that let's go in and give it a test so if I hit play you'll now see that as I start running the character the cat is running in one direction and he starts running in the other and he's going back to his idle perfect alright so now that we have that all set up let's go ahead and get our camera because right now we are uh, getting our camera and it's the viewport camera and I don't really want to use that anymore so let's set up our own camera and let's position it and then we'll also learn how to get that camera to follow our character so we'll start with that next 